But don't you see that Pakistan itself should understand that they cannot continue as a country to see themselves as the victim forever? You've been trying to rally international support. The United Nations Security Council met three times about Kashmir. Absolutely no strong sign of solidarity with your country. All symbolic gestures. Don't you feel like you've been abandoned by Western allies? Kashmir is a disputed territory between Pakistan and India since 70 years. Now, this disputed territory on 5th August last year was taken over by India by brute force. Eight million people in Kashmir in an open prison and 800,000 Indian troops in the valley who are now oppressing them. Now, we have knocked all doors and we will keep doing so. We went to the United, I spoke in the United Nations uh, Security Council. I've spoken to the heads of states. This is a, an extreme injustice, not just for people of Kashmir. It's, if this escalates and if this breaks up into conflict between Pakistan and India, this has implications for the rest of the world. That's why it's serious. Certain parts of the world are not responding because unfortunately, Countries worry about their commercial interest. They look upon India as a huge market. And so they are willing to ignore this huge travesty of justice that is taking place there. It doesn't mean that we will sit down quietly and accept this. We will keep trying. Is it the reason why your foreign minister delivered an unprecedented sharp rebuke of the organization of the Islamic countries about Kashmir in particular to the point where the Saudis I believe that countries struggle. Yes, we wanted OIC to uh, take a more role in, in this whole thing. Yes, yes, we did. Saudi Arabia it will always be a friend of Pakistan. But yes, we want OIC to take a bigger role in this whole thing.